Hey everybody, this modern day here um, and go through a couple of steps on how to do kind of a cloth sim tape effect. Uh, there's been a couple of people in uh, Stellar Tech Industries Discord as well as the Hops Discord uh, that have had a couple of questions on how the effect's done. Um, both myself and Nighthawk were kind of fiddling around with it. Uh, so I figured I would kind of give you guys a quick example on how to do it. I'm gonna to try to show two methods. I wanna show you guys how to do it with Vanilla Blender as well as using uh, box, or box Cutter and Hard Ops, just that way you guys can kind of see the different methods because uh, I know not everybody has Hard Ops. Uh, so what we're gonna do, I've got just a basic shape here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a mesh. Uh, just bring in a, a regular plane. I'm going to go ahead and slide it over here, and then I'm just going to scale it down on the X, get it nice and kind of thin, and then we're scale it down on the Y. So this will be kind of our piece of tape. Let's scale it up on the Y just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and bring this up. I'm going to rotate it on the X by 90 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and apply it sh scale, and then I'm going to rotate it on the Y by 45, just so we can give it a little kind of interest there. And then we're going to bring it up just a little bit and reapply that scale. Um, so we're going to kind of move it as close to the shape that we're sticking the tape to as possible, uh, just so the simulation doesn't have to run as long. So we'll get it right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in a force field. And the force field we're going to add in is going to be a vortex. We want to kind of scale it down just a little bit, bring it up to the center of the object where we want the, the tape to stick to. We're going to take this main shape that we want the tape to adhere to. We're going to add a collision. And then we're gonna go and turn the friction all the way up to 80, and we're gonna bring the thickness down to 0 0.001. And then we're gonna take the plane, our piece of tape, just double check to make sure I applied that scale, and we're gonna do the same thing on this. Um, and then we're going to apply a cloth modifier to it. There's a couple of steps here. So under the quality steps, we're gonna go ahead and set that to 10. We're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna go down to the collision. Under that, we're gonna turn the quality there to 10. And then the distance, we're going to turn that down to 0 0.001. And then to make sure the cloth stays in place when we hit play and doesn't fall, we're going to go under the field weights here and turn that all the way down to zero on gravity. So just kind of hang here. All right. So then the next step that we're going to do, for those of you that have hard ops, you're going to go ahead and just hit the Q menu and you're going to go to your mesh tools and you're going to hit dice and then you're going to dice it along the X and the Y axis. And then you kind of want to make it pretty dense here. Go ahead and apply that. And then we have this shape here. It's all subdivided and ready to go. And we want to go to our vortex and we want to turn this strength up to around 150. That's uh, just a good number. You want to make sure you turn off rotation. That way it just moves the plane in towards the square there. And then if you hit play, you're going to see it sucks it in just like this and you've got that kind of tape effect, we wanna go ahead and right click on the shape here, shade that smooth, and then to make things nicer, we're gonna go ahead and undo the animation. We're gonna go here, we're gonna add a multi-resolution to it, and we're gonna subdivide it by one. And then we're also going to add a solidify modifier to it. Uh, the solidify modifier, you wanna make sure it has even thickness, turn the offset all the way up to one, and then if we hit shift tilde here and we kind of move in, you're going to see it gave it a little bit of thickness. Looks nice. And then we'll go ahead and run the animation again. You're going to get a little bit of artifacting. Um, it can happen at times. So what you want to do in that particular situation, if we go in and apply this modifier, run it again, you'll notice it gets rid of it. You get kind of the curling and everything like that. It makes the tape look good. Um, and then what you want to do at that point, you can kind of switch over to here and we'll just use kit ops to throw a couple of textures on like so. Uh, we'll just go here, go concrete. We'll throw a concrete material on this. We'll take our tape here. And then for tape, I'm gonna use Blender Kit. Uh, it's built into Blender, it's free. You can just add it under preferences under your add-ons. And then we're gonna go to plastic and have it pull up a plastic here and there's a nice duct tape material. When you apply that material, it kind of goofs the simulation up, but you can just back it up, run it again, and then you've got that set and applied just like that. So you get the nice tape material. Um, you can at times get a little bit of kind of pull through there from where it's pulling the tape in. If that's the case and you are having that issue, then what you can do is you can go down to your vortex settings here and under those vortex, those vortex settings, if you go back to your strength, 
and turn that strength down to around 110 and then run the simulation again when you run it you're going to notice that it's not pulling through you're actually getting the proper reflections everything like that on the tape and it looks good the only difference that you're looking at between being able to do it with hard ops and using box cutter is with um, standard vanilla all you'll do is you'll select the plane instead of dicing it you'll just go into face mode and then you're going to go into edit mode of course it'll have just a single face you'll right click on it click subdivide you'll subdivide it 10 times and then you'll subdivide it again with five cuts uh, so you'll click subdivide then the number of cuts you would crank this up to 10 the first time run subdivide again and then crank it up to five and then you can run the simulation exactly the same as you were beforehand. So that should wrap it up, and you guys now know how to do the tape effect.